Season 2, out of all the show where naming a top 10 can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the 10 best-selling solo artists with one name and you said Madonna, you'd be voguing your way into the final. But if you said Hadaway, then you'd have had a nightmare. The more top 10s our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's the Frisbee Quizbees. <laughs> Frisbee Quizbees. Hi. So, tell me why you called that. We are a bunch of Frisbee players, play for the same team, and we love a pub quiz. Fantastic. OK, team, it's time to throw ourselves into this game. Let's play Tenable. OK, the Frisbee Quizbees, it's time to release the first question. The first ten five-letter words that end with the letters A-N-K. So, Andy, as team captain, it's up to you to decide who's best equipped to tackle this top ten. Karina. <laughs> Karina, it's time to play tenable. <laughs> Karina, welcome to the game. Hi, thank you. Now, I understand you do an impression of a Star Wars character. I do, very well. Are you able to do it for us now? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Now, as someone who speaks Wookiee, right... There's no need for that language. <laughs> Not on afternoon telly. I apologise, I apologise. OK, Karina, it's time to toss some answers onto that board. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes. All right. Here's your question again. The first ten five-letter words that end with the letters A and K. I've got some clarification here, so okay. listen carefully. We're looking for the first ten words in the dictionary that consist of five letters and end with the letters A, N, K in that order. This list is about words in the premium version of OxfordDictionaries.com. This tenable list does not include hyphenated words such as e-bank, words with apostrophes, or any word that the dictionary only spells with an initial capital letter. Is that clear? Yes. Fantastic. Good luck, Karina. Let's get your first word on the board. OK, so I'm going to go with how I'm feeling. That is blank. <laughs> I love what you did there. Excellent. So, let's see. Is blank our first tenable answer? word I'm going to go for will be clank. Let's see. Is clank tenable? Yes, well played. Um, the next word I will go for is crank. Crank. Alright, let's see. Is crank in this list? Two away from £1,000 and a place in the final. You still have your life, three nominates, and Andy still has use of the overall button. Uh, my next word will be drank. So, to take you one step closer to £1,000 and a place in the final, is drank tenable? Four correct answers, now one away from £1,000 and your place in the final. But this is your last chance to nominate in your game. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. You've got some more answers in your mind, have you? Yes. Uh, so the next word I will go for is flank. <laughs> All right, so for £1,000 and a place in the final, is flank our fifth tenable answer? Sweet sound means you've got five tenable answers and we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five more words up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can play on. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. Uh, so the next word I would like is... Prank? Prank. Yeah. OK, so this is for £2,500. Is prank tenable? Yeah, there it is. Well done. Okay, so you've got 
£500 for your prize fund. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000 and you still have your life. Okay, cool. So, I am going to go for the word plank. Plank. Is plank tenable? Yes, there it is. Well played. So that's £5,000 for your prize fund. You're just three answers away from a perfect ten here on Tenable and a jackpot of £25,000. OK, so the next word I'm going to go for is Frank. So for £10,000, <laughs> is Frank a Tenable answer? Yes, there it is, Frank. Good. You're two answers away from that £25,000 now and a perfect ten. Oh, I know it's not right, but shrank. Shrank. Yeah, I'm... OK. <laughs> For £15,000 and to take you one step closer to a perfect ten and £25,000, is shrank tenable? a surprise. <laughs> that was untenable. Uh. You've lost your life, Karina. Okay. okay. So, if you give me an untenable answer here, you'll lose the £10,000 you banked and you'd be out of the game. But if you give me a correct answer now, £15,000 will go into the prize fund. I will sit back down. You sure? Absolutely. Before you sit down, though, <laughs> let's reveal these missing two words, shall we? What is behind number 10? Quank. Of a bird or animal to utter a harsh croaking or honking cry. Huh. There you go. So now you know. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Chank. The large spiral shell of the gastropod mollusk Turbinella wrapper found in the Indian Ocean. Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, now you know that as well. You. Where do you pick that up? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Karina, you've added £10,000 to your prize fund and you return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations. Amazing. Thank well you. Team, you've got £10,000 in your prize fund so far. Yeah. Let's see if you can add to that. It's time to look at your next top ten. Top ten 2017-2018 EFL Championship football teams. So, Andy, as captain, you need to decide which team member is the best person for this one. I think there's little debate. It's going to be Sean. Sean, it's time to play Tenable. Sean, welcome to the game. Thank you. What's the appeal of Ultimate Frisbee for you? I enjoyed the team atmosphere. I enjoyed kind of the competition element of it. Um, it's fun while still being you know, fairly serious. Why don't you just use boomerangs? Then you can play on your own. It would probably make it less interesting. You know, the team element is uh, is pretty important. With a, when you're playing on your own, it can be a bit lonely. I'd say. <laughs> I love the way you gave me a really serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious sport, Warwick. It's a serious sport. Oh, of course it is. Yes, <laughs> so are you ready to play Tenable? I am ready to play Tenable. All right, here's your top ten. Top ten 2017-2018 EFL Championship football teams. We're looking for the names of the ten football teams who finished in the top ten positions of the EFL Championship at the end of the 2017-2018 season. Good luck, Sean. Thanks. You. Get your first answer on the board. So my first answer is Wolverhampton Wanderers. Is Wolverhampton Wanderers our first tenable answer? Already top three. There they are at the top. Well done, Sean. Thanks. Right, let's get your next answer. Uh, second answer, uh, Cardiff. Cardiff City. Is Cardiff City terrible? Yes, there they are, at number two on this list. Okay, let's get your next answer. Fulham. Is Fulham terrible? have your life, your three nominates, and Andy has the overall button. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say Aston Villa next. And where's that going to be? Four. Very good. 
is Aston Villa, our fourth tenable answer. Yes, there it is. Well played. So, I suppose you're going to give me your next answer as number five. Yeah, I think I know number five, even after that. I'm not sure about numbers, but I'm okay. I think five is Derby. Derby County. So this is for a £1,000 and your place in the final. Is Derby County our fifth tenable answer? Yes, there it is, Derby County. So, Sean, that joyous jingle means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. We'll also add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. But... It's not at number five. It's not at number five. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit cocky, didn't we, there? <laughs> now, Sean, you can stop here if you wish. But there are still five teams up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can play on. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500, OK? OK. But I imagine you're going to carry on, because you've got a life. I'll carry on for a bit, yeah. So try and redeem yourself now and uh, <laughs> number five. Mm. Or tell me which other one you've got. I'm going to say five, or at least is in there. I'm pretty sure it's five, is Middlesbrough. So for £2,500, is Middlesbrough tenable? £2,500 for your team's prize fund. Yep. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000 and you still have your life. Uh, so I'm going to say Millwall. In which position? Number seven, I think. So for £5,000, is Millwall tenable? That's £5,000 into your pies fund. Yeah. You're doing really well. Your next correct answer is worth £10,000. I am going to go with Sheffield United. For £10,000. Is Sheffield United in this list? Congratulations. Thanks. Getting so close now. Look, yeah. two answers away from £25,000 and a perfect 10 on tenable. How excited do you feel at this moment now? I feel quite excited. Quite excited. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so say, like, you know, Sean's most excited state is 10. Mm. Where are we? We're at solid 8 at the moment. Solid 8? Solid, solid 8. eight. Yeah. And what, what happens when you get to 10? Uh, like a fist bump. Do a fist bump. <laughs> yeah. So we might see that in a minute. Might see that. If we get to 10, we might see that. OK. All right. <laughs> You've still got your life, so you can give me an untenable answer, and the £10,000 you banked is safe. Yeah. I know they had a good run of form in the middle of the season. I can't quite remember where they finished, but I'll say Brentford. So for £15,000, and to take you one step closer to a perfect 10 and £25,000, is Brentford tenable? One answer to find. That answer is worth £25,000. You've banked £15,000 for your team and you still have your life. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to say Bristol City. So, to complete a perfect 10 and give you £25,000, fist pump at the ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Is Bristol City our final tenable answer? Oh, Sean, I'm afraid that was untenable. So you have lost that life now. If you give me another untenable answer, you'll lose the £15,000 you've banked and you'd be out of the game. I'll sit back down and uh, take my place in the final round, I think. Well done. Sincerely, congratulations. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal the missing answer. What's behind number seven? Preston North End. Oh. Would you have said that? 
it wasn't in my head, but now it, now I'm looking at it, it's obvious, but that nah, just wasn't there. Well, Sean, you've added £15,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a tasty total of £25,000 and your return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations. Thank you. Well played, Sean. Right, after the break, the next member of the Frisbee Quizbies will do battle with their own top ten. Can they tame our tenable tower? You'll find out after this break. Assisted Bathing, proud sponsors of Everyday Favourites.